morning, my beautiful internet friends. Welcome back and welcome to my brand new filming office upstairs. It's actually an office office for work, but I'm gonna use it for filming too because I painted this cool wall and I've never actually put it in a video because this room wasn't set up to be able to do anything. So thank you, Brian, for making this a functional office. This is gonna be a, a really quick and sort of frustrated video this morning. I received an email that <laughs> frustrated me, that really upsets me. And it's nothing malicious, it's nothing I don't think that is intended in any negative way, but what it is promoting is so harmful. I wanted to share with you what I received on the off chance that anyone sends you something similar or that you see this going around. As you know, I talk about mental health and I talk about trauma and I talk about some of the things that I've gone through and I've experienced and they've left lasting deep emotional scars on my life and I talk about this publicly. And so people will reach out to me about things and, and it's beautiful and I love exchanging stories but then sometimes brands and companies will reach out to me about things that they think could like match up with that and that's fine too. But this morning I received a very particular email and I'm not gonna try to explain anymore. I'm just gonna read it to you. This is what it said. Good morning, Joe. My associate and I are trauma researchers. We just went live with our new website where you can read our remarkable story below. I don't think I'm gonna share the website because I don't wanna trash these people because I don't think what they're doing is necessarily intentional. After 30 years studying brain science, we discovered a missing piece to the emotional trauma puzzle that creates a new healing paradigm. A whole new missing piece in your brain. That's cool. In a nutshell, we can effectively clear and erase any fear, phobia, negative belief, negative emotion, emotional trauma, including PTSD, in about 90 minutes, where the results are permanent for the rest of the participant's lifetime. No, I'm sorry, but no. That is not how trauma works. That is not how PTSD works. And peddling the idea that you can magically erase it in 90 minutes or less is utter bullshit. You are targeting an incredibly vulnerable population. You are targeting people who have gone through something that hurt them, who have gone through something that damaged a part of themselves that they, they feel hurt over or they're dealing with symptoms from. And you are sitting there saying, hey, forget everything else. Forget everything else we know about psychology or you know human biology or how bodies remember things or how brains process things or how we store memories. That's all gone because we discovered a, a missing piece that no one has known existed for 30 years and we can make that all go away in 90 minutes. That's not how brains work. That is not how brains work. I wish it was. I wish to the bottom of my little soul that that was how things worked, but it's not. And I'm so very familiar with this rhetoric. I am so familiar with things like this because I was brought up in healing culture in the church. Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with believing in healing, absolutely nothing wrong in pursuing God and believing that he can like bring emotional or mental healing into your life. If that's what you believe, I absolutely respect that. But the people who push that on other people, the people who are like, hey, I know you're dealing with depression, but you just need to pray and believe and it's gonna get better the second you want it to. I know that you were assaulted and you're dealing with you know a lot right now, but you don't even have to worry about that anymore because God wants you to be better and all you have to do is pray and believe and that's it. PTSD gone, depression gone, anxiety gone. Isn't that awesome? You can be totally whole again. You can be whatever you want to be because you want to be it. Oh, it's not working. Oh, that must mean you don't really want it. That must mean you don't really believe. And this kind of email, and I'm sorry that I'm getting so heated, plays right into that because you so desperately want to believe that when you're struggling with emotional turmoil or emotional trauma. You so desperately want to believe that it can go away like that, that you don't have to put in a lot of hard work, that it's not going to take a while. And for some people in some situations, maybe there's a magic key sometimes that just unlocks things and suddenly everything you've been dealing with and all the trauma that you've been suffering under and, and all the symptoms you've been experiencing, maybe it magically goes away. I have yet to meet anyone who that's actually true for, but I am open to that possibility. But that is not the norm for 99% of people. This is not okay to say because it is not true. The only way that this could be true is if you removed pieces of people's brains, which they used to do, and they thought it worked too, because people didn't experience the same negative symptoms when you cut out a part of their brain, 
but it also made them not them anymore. It also severely messed them up. It makes me so angry that someone is sitting out there sending these messages to people and has created a website about it and a whole research study. I'm gonna put that in quotes because it's not true. And I'm sure some people will say, well, you know, how can you know if you haven't researched it? How can you know if you haven't tried it? Because I know about trauma because I know about psychology because this has been my life for the last eight years because I have been involved in communities and read so very much about this and wanted to understand as much as I can because I so desperately wanted to, and I'll quote here, because I wanted to effectively clear and erase any fear, phobia, negative belief, negative emotion, or emotional trauma, including my own PTSD. I wanted to do that, but guess what? There's no magical solution, there's no magical switch. Things can get better. There are absolutely things that help, but they don't happen in 90 minutes. You are not suddenly cleared and suddenly healed and everything is roses and rainbows and unicorns. This is not okay and if anyone tells you that that's the case and oh, you know, if you try it and it doesn't work for you, I'm gonna guess that they're gonna tell you something's wrong with you. That's been my experience moving in similar circles. Please know that nothing is actually wrong with you. If that ever happens, N nothing is actually wrong with you. Trauma is incredibly complicated. It literally changes the way that our brains function. It doesn't store itself in one little part of your brain that they have magically found after 30 years. Trauma is a complicated, weird thing. PTSD is hard to treat and difficult, but possible. Like you can heal from it, you can get better. I am living proof of that. But there are no quick fixes, there is no snake oil, and anyone who tells you differently is trying to sell you something. I cannot speak to the motivations of these people. Maybe they believe they are really helping people, but I can tell you that they aren't. I know that sounds incredibly judgmental and incredibly harsh, and I I want to add some caveat like, well, maybe they're helping some people, but I truly don't believe that they are. Don't tell people this crap. Do not tell hurting people this crap. Actually help them. This makes me so, so very upset. I really hate when people try to give you easy answers to incredibly complex problems when you so desperately want those easy answers. It's really hurtful. Just don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. I feel like I should kind of apologize a little bit for how heated I got, but also at the same time, I don't regret it because I feel passionately about this issue. This isn't okay. In my humble opinion, let me know what you think down below. I'm absolutely open to hearing other people's opinions on this. I don't think I'm gonna call out the website or the people because I don't know if that's right to do. That's a moral dilemma if it's better to call it out or to not, I don't know. But at least I've read you the email so you know what they're saying. Thank you for spending a few minutes listening to me angrily talk about a topic I'm very passionate about. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much to my patrons for making these videos possible. Thank you for watching this video. I love you guys. I'm thinking of you and I will see you in the next video probably a lot less angry than I am now. Bye guys.